power. Intensity. Strength. Camera's falling. Booty. Synergy. Buzzwords. Catchphrase. Fear and muscles. Love. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Riffing, man. We were riffing. You blew it. I'm still a girl. Okay. Love. Love. love? Yeah. Getting a chance to do these collaborations with other YouTubers, there's a couple reasons I'm trying to do this. A, it's grow the channel. That's pretty clear. I'm not going to pretend it's not. I want to meet more people than just the elite athletes and coaches that I've been dealing with. I want to meet some normal people who just enjoy training. Meg is not exactly in a normal person. A 315 pound squat for a girl is fucking amazing. I don't care what your body weight is. Hell, I know a bunch of guys that don't squat 315. She was a lot of fun to be around and I can't get over how much that positive attitude really is infectious when you're around someone. It's so exhausting to be around negative people. Her channel's positive, the message is good, and she's just trying to introduce people to strength, especially women. There's no reason you can't get in and train and be healthy and fit. And she covers a lot of topics that I don't really ever have to cover with diet and health issues that women have more so than men. So check out her channel and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the training video with her. Big party night last night. I think I was asleep by 9.15. I was up a little later, but I was sleepwalking. I just realized how impossible this would be to edit because of the diarrhea flowing out of the speakers over there. It's offensive. It's offensive music. Yuck. Music like this is literally what's got me out of powerlifting. <laughs> really? And strongman, yeah. What do they play at? Um... Piling games? Bagpipes. It's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, bagpipes. No, it just, no. Bagpipes are okay, but what you hear all day at the Highland Games are people warming up uh, to play bagpipes. Okay. So it just basically sounds like this droning bag of cats getting beaten to death. It's fucking brutal. Are you sure? Are you sure that's not better than this? Well, then it seems like anyone who plays bagpipes professionally only knows one song. That's it. I think I know the song. Yeah, you should. Wrapping up day two of the American Open. I'm gonna head up to Black Iron, do some lifting, a little throw stuff, do some med ball work, and uh, hang out with Meg Squats, film some stuff. Should be fun. We're cozy. Time to go to the gymnasium. Got a snack. Got a crew. I think you got a dope posse, but you got a bunch of dudes. My dope posse right now is Meg Squats, Hammer and Cake Pops. That's living. These are the best. This angle makes me look so much taller than you. Whoa, I'm like a little person. Yeah, whereas for me, the camera adds 70 pounds. So back here at Black Iron, gonna do a little bit of lifting. I know I kind of introduced Meg. Hi, I'm power lifter. I live in New York City, and I'm here hanging out with Matt for the American Open. I like to lift. I have a YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. And it'll be down there. It'll be down here. The goal of my channel is to bring get more women interested in strength sports and strength sports in general. I have a lot of strong people on my channel. I like to do interviews, um, but when I'm not having other strong people, I'm talking about my training and just day-to-day -day life and what it's like to be a person trying to be strong. So for me, with a lot of the stuff you guys have watched and seen and collaborations I've had in the past, I'm a strength athlete, I like power, I like throwing, I like all of these things. But really the big concern for me in the big picture is that people are interested in training, number one, and two, finding some type of happiness and enjoying chasing strength. It's not all necessarily all show and no go. There's got to be a little bit in you that wants to pursue some performance aspect, and whether that's gonna be do a powerlifting meet, do a weightlifting meet, I don't care. Just do something where you're going to push yourself and have a goal that you can obtain. So that's the deal. Meg and I are gonna do a little bit of training. I think she is going to 
as she's so named Squat. Squat. See what we can do to kind of uh, learn a little bit from each other, if you will. I'm restarting a new strength block. I'm preparing for, training for the Arnold powerlifting competition, which uh, I qualified for just barely at nationals, and that was my goal at nationals, was to qualify for the Arnold. I did that, I hit a 395 Wilkes. For those of you who don't powerlift or any of that, so you have a Sinclair total for weightlifting, you have a Wilkes total for powerlifting, and these are kind of a coefficient you can use to have someone be competitive, say Meg, versus me. And what you can do is it, it's a multiplier that works on body weight and stuff like that so that you get kind of a different factor from it. Now we're kind of taking a step back and I have a couple more months to train for that. I'm just uh, doing some volume work. I, I like to, throughout my program, hit some heavy singles, so I'm doing that too. Um, nothing crazy, but like around 90%. Today's training, um, I'm hitting some, like I said, some heavy squats. I'm going up to 265 today. So I'll have, um, I'll hit a triple, a double, and then some singles at 265. Uh, the, the triple and the double are a little bit less than that, a couple pounds less than that, so. Now this is something different. Meg squats much lower bar than I do. People always say like my shoulders can, I'm pretty mobile generally. But also I'm a smaller girl. Right. Um, but yeah, my arms are really tight. Sometimes people comment on it and ask me about it. Yeah. I'm just mobile, I'm able to do that and it makes me feel tighter, my really back tighter, in. really locked in, yeah. Yeah, that really locked in feeling is key. It's very like squatting. I know I've talked about it a little bit, but the idea is that your upper body to the waist is so tight and locked in that you're gonna transfer all that power from legs up. And she seems to be doing a pretty good job of it. That's my thought. So there's gonna be, there's no right or wrong to high bar, low bar, to arms in and arms out. A lot of that's gonna be the particulars about how things work for you. As long as you're squatting, that's key. Meg also brought along some friends. She has David and Ryan. Ryan being her boyfriend and David just being a good friend of Ryan. Got a chance to train with those two and do some push press and some overhead work. Push press is in a lift that I find very, very important for athletes. Being able to transfer power from your hips and legs into your hands to overhead in one movement is key for producing power into an implement. Oh, I'm a shot putter and my personal best is 1983, uh, which is 65-1. Um, hoping to throw near 70 feet this year. I train up at Concordia University with Jared Rome. It's in North Portland, um, and I'm the assistant coach there, so I help out with a lot of the other uh, throwers who are in college. Very cool. So that's the loose intro other than Meg's domestic partner, Ryan. Fans out, he's an athlete too. Does uh, wicked fast snowboarding. Wicked fast. Not that fast. Pretty fucking fast snowboarding. <laughs> he uh, does the giant slalom? Yeah, giant slalom. A little slalom too. It's pretty fucking cool. If you need me to make you a believer, I've got this crystal ball, and now I see much clearer. <laughs>
a reason to be stronger Sometimes I feel like I can lift the world Up on my shoulders But lately I've been trying not to falter I've been going up, 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 up Now I'm falling, falling, falling Breaking all the rules and tears That seems to be the workout. Did some snatch grip deadlift, push press, um, behind the neck shoulder accessories. Meg is kicking the shit out of those jerk blocks. We're gonna sit down and have a chat. A chat? A chat. What are we gonna chat about? You'll find out. Oh no. Post training games. Oh, you can eat sushi. Right there. there may not be a better diet option on earth. I agree with you. It's you get carbs, fruits, fats, bloats. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> She's very tired. You've got you got lots of travel coming up. Yeah, I do. So you leave here tonight. I leave here tonight. We fly the red eye, red eye from Reno to New York City, mm. and then I'll be home from like 7 a.m. till my flight that leaves from to at 7 p.m. to go to Amsterdam. So you got like a sweet 12 hours. Uh, yeah. You're, you pa you're packed though and ready to go. No, no. Of course not. Why would you be? <laughs> so you leave here tonight. I leave here tonight. We fly the red eye, red eye from Reno to New York City, mm. and then I'll be home from like 7 a.m. till my flight that leaves from to at 7 p.m. to go to Amsterdam. So you got like a sweet 12 hours. Uh, yeah. You, you pa you're packed though and ready to go. No, no. Of course not. Why would you be? <laughs> so we are just about done with dinner. It has been an absolute pleasure hanging out. Thank you. Same. You're great. You're great. This is like my first actual YouTube collab in person. Really? Yeah, everything else has been via the electronic web. You are you are doing well with that though. Yeah? I don't like your video. Because then even though that's a problem sometimes, like geography separates us, but yeah. technology, we can just still collab. So time's a flat circle. So I appreciate I appreciate the way you incorporate other people in your videos without actually being there. But it's well, it's, it's good. I, I want to share as much information like as I possibly can, right? And so yeah. everyone's got different perspectives perspectives and experiences and things they've done. Something to learn from everybody. True that. So. And you're in California right now? Yeah. We will have to do this again. For sure. I'll be... Have we talked about when we'll see each other next? Will you be at the, you'll be at the Arnold. I should be. I'll be there. I'll be there powerlifting. Nice. We will do something again soon. Maybe the electronic collaboration. The technology makes it happen. We'll keep kicking ass. It's inspiring. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Stay positive, everyone, and follow Meg again. She's going to be linked down below. And, um... Yeah, do that and thanks, like, subscribe, and share it around. Bye. I really want to thank Meg for hanging out, uh, filming some stuff with me, training, let me pick her brain a little bit about YouTube and all the other stuff that she's doing. Pretty exciting to see what she's got going on, a lot of travel, things that I'm also very, very interested in. So please check her out, like, subscribe, tell her, uh, leave her a comment, say Matt sent you over, let her know that uh, she's getting some love. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoyed the video.